Good morning, class. Today we will learn about more subtraction. Okay, now we look at example number one. Akit has 15 thoughts. He gives eight thoughts to Ama. How many thoughts Akit has now? Means that 15 minus eight equal to how much? First method you can use this lah. You draw 15. Mm, 15 and you draw total you draw 15 then take our add minus add you take our add 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 add so now how many left left how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so the answer is 7 Method number two, you can do in common form. 15 minus add. Okay, now, plus value for 5 is, plus value for 5 is 1s. And 10s, this is plus value for 1 is 10. Now, 15 minus add equal to 7. Okay, example number two, subtract seven from 63, means that 63 minus seven, you cannot say seven minus 63, seven is less than 63, so cannot, so 63 minus seven equal to what? Okay, now method one, you can do in common form like this. 63 minus 7. Okay, now you see this. Plus value for 1. You see 1. 3 cannot minus 7, isn't it? 3 not enough. Minus 7. So, why not enough? You have to borrow from temps. Borrow from tens. This borrow once to once. Left 5. So, here become 13. 13 minus 6 is, 13 minus 7 is 6. So, 5, we write down 5. So, your answer is 50, 56. Okay, now I will explain in Malay. Now, 63 tolak 7 equal to sekarang awak lihat pada tiga ni kalau mau mula mengira tolak ke tambah ke tarap awak mesti mula nombor di belakang sekali ya jadi sekarang tiga tak boleh tolak tujuh betul ke tidak awak tak boleh cakap tujuh tolak tiga tak boleh mesti ambil nombor atas tolak nombor ke bawah jadi tiga tak cukup awak kena pinjam daripada nombor di sebelah enam diambil satu tinggal 5. Jadi yang satu itu awak bawa lah dia pergi sebelah sini. Jadi di sini tinggal 3 belas. Jadi sekarang 3 belas tolak 7. Keluarkan jari awak 10. Mulut letak 3. Mulut tekan mulut nombor 3. Lepas tu awak kira sampai 7. Tengok awak tutup berapa jari. Masih ada berapa jari ada. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Masih ada berapa jari awak yang masih buka tu. Ada E. 6, jadi tuliskan 6. 5 tu turunkan. Jadi jawapan awak adalah 50 e 6. Question number 3. Now, 50 minus 27. Write the number properly. And underline using your ruler. So now, 0 cannot minus with 4. You cannot take 4 minus 0. Tak boleh ambil 4 tolak sifar. Tak boleh. Mesti sifar tolak 4. So, not enough. You borrow from 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Take away 1. Left 4. So, satu itu, the ones you bring to here. This become 10. 10 minus 4 equal to 6. 4 minus 2 equal to so your answer is 26. Question number 4. 
42 minus 28. Uh, I, I write bigger. 42 minus 28 equal 2. Now, 2 minus 8. Can you start from here? 4 minus 2 first, you write down 2. Can you? Cannot. So you must start from here. 2 minus 8 cannot. So you borrow from 4. This left 3. This become 12. 12 minus 8 equal to? Equal to what? Equal to 4. 3 minus 2 equal to 1. So your answer is 4. Thing. Now, question number 5. 31 minus what equal to 25? So you now first you write down 31. If you want to find the number in the middle of number sentences, you have to continue use minus minus so minus 25 31 minus 25 borrow from 3 this left 2 this become 11 11 minus 5 6 2 minus 2 equal to 0 so no need to write 0 you just you have to let or you want to write zero also can but no also can so the answer is six okay calculate the balance so now we calculate a one a 13 23 minus six Three cannot minus with six, isn't it? So we borrow from two. This become one, and this become thirteen. Thirteen minus six equal to seven. Then this one, one you write down one. So your answer is seven thing. So now fifty two minus seven. Sam, not enough. You borrow. So this become 12 minus 7 equal to 5. Write down 4. So your answer is 45. Now, 31 minus 19. See, 31 minus 19. Not enough, you borrow. Please borrow from 10th. Uh, this become 11. This become 11. 11 minus 9. 2, 2 minus 1, 1. So your answer is 12. For D, 0 minus 4 cannot. So you borrow from here. Become 5 and this become 10. 10 minus 4 equal to 6. 5 minus 1 and 5 minus 4 equal to 1. So your answer is 16. Okay, number 2, A. Soft this, A. 12. Minus eight equal to four. So write down four. For B, sixty one minus five. Not enough. Please borrow from ten. So this becomes eleven. Eleven minus five. Six. Write down five. So your answer is. 56 for C 95 minus at the end 5 cannot minus we add so we borrow from 9 this become 15 15 minus minus at say but at minus at is 0 so this is your answer, say, but for D, you look properly, yeah? this is equal to 40 minus 28 equal to what? 40 minus 28 
equal to one. So zero cannot minus we add, so we borrow from four, and it become ten. Ten minus add equal to two. Three minus two equal to one. So this is twelve. For E, twenty six. Just now I say to find the number in the number middle in to find the middle number in number sentences you have to continue using minus so 26 minus 17 equal to 6 cannot minus with 7 so we borrow from 2 and it becomes 16 16 minus 7 equal to 9 1 minus 1 equal to 0 so you don't need to write 0 so you just have to write 9 that's all for today thank you